All right, what's good YouTube? Today we're talking about the notorious unbreakable P5 hill on Invasion. If you've been watching any MW3 scrims or any Pro 8s, you probably know this hill by now. It's the Palace Hill on Invasion. Super deep, super hard to break because of the spawns and because of the way the map is structured. So let's get right into it. We're gonna be talking about why this hill is so hard to break and what teams are trying to do to actually break on into it, whether they're setting this up during the hill or whether they're setting up during that P4 and trying to make things mixy going to the rotation to that p5 so let's get right into it all right so i'm going to take you through the telestrator and basically draw everything out for you guys on this bird's eye view so you can really get a deeper picture of what we're talking about when we're talking about this p5 and how hard it is to break so once again since we don't have any smokes we can't do anything in terms of trying to cover this cross so that when we're trying to break let's say from this p2 side anyone coming from this street side or lamar base side is going to be able to see that cross for free and can get some shots down on anyone that might be crossing this type of street. But the really big thing about this hill is because it's just super secluded here up top in the palace, the areas that you have to take control of are so deep on the map. And that by the time that you try and get some of these kills, let's say you get a kill on number eight and you're trying to climb up over here. Number five can just watch his window. So you really actually need numbers to start breaking onto the hill. It can't just be one guy unless you're just trying to win a one on one gunfight on hill, which is possible sometimes. But a lot of times this number five player is just playing in some type of deep corner so you're not going to be able to instantly feel him out he's just going to be in a corner and just going to shoot you right away so you have to check a lot of angles and unfortunately it's just not in your favor at that moment so once you possibly get initial kills towards that side you're still having to fight the guy in hill and again it's just super hard to break with so many different corners and i'm not even talking about just in the hill you know there's just so many different rooms over here and stairwells that you can just hide yourself from and try and play a corner and get a free kill and anyone that's trying to break on in. But that leads me to my next point. You know, I talked about getting that first kill. So a lot of times getting that first kill is really important into starting to get that break because if you get that first kill, normally you do have numbers on the enemy team and you can start breaking on in. The only thing is these power positions that these guys have still, you know, top flag over here and at this Lamar tank and even in hill, you can see outside. It's just super, super hard to gun these guys out of these headies. And an even bigger issue is this number eight guy, when he gets killed like this and you guys are breaking through this P2, area he's gonna spawn out right over here at the street it's not like he's spawning super deep you know back blue or back manny over here he's literally spawning right by this patio or by this street and he can basically instantly get this cut off right away so even if you do get a kill on him you know two and a half seconds later he's already trying to get this cross for his team so if you haven't already broken on through this street you're already getting cut from another player that's just spawning into that cut so one of the big things is not only do you have these insane power positions you know i didn't even talk about on this wall you know these wall headies are really really hard to get people off of and if you don't have enough attacks to actually you know back them off from that and if they do have those double trophy setups it's just super hard to get those kills and then you have this guy spawning on the cut so once again these power positions plus the spawns right outside of the hill you're not spawning them super out so you basically never have that numbers advantage which causes you to get you know an extra wave of kills before you start breaking on into the hill and usually on a hill if you just get one full-on wave you should be able to break that hill pretty easily but in this game in this hill specifically it feels like you have to get you know two full-on waves for you to break this hill and at that point if the team that's holding is taking their time effectively it's not even really worth it to break onto the hill because you're just losing that next rotation and you might not even get majority points on that p5 so that's what the real dilemma here is so i'll take you through a different situation where let's say we didn't have scrap time and let's say this blue team had this p4 scrap and as the red team we're going to be trying to break through let's say uh, mid and a street over here once again another close spawn on the other side instead of just spawning you know patio towards this a street they're just going to be spawning p2 so once again they're spawning just you know feet from this cross over here so if you get one or two kills you still have to get another set of kills in order to break on in because this guy is going to spawn up and just instantly have his cross uh, towards this street so once you're trying to cross that street and get towards that p5 you know you might already have some shots on you from someone you just killed so 
So that's the really big issue with this hill. Not only is it just super hard to break with the power positions, you're just instantly getting cut off from anyone that you might have just killed because you don't have any type of smoke or anything to cover your lane as you try and break on in. So you know, what are teams doing about this? What can they do to actually have a good break on into that P5? And honestly, just the best answer for you is just to have a really good rotation to it, you know, starting with that end of that P3. So not only were we rotating during that P4, we're gonna be trying to rotate off scrap. So let's say we have this scrap time P3, uh, you know, a really common thing that you're gonna see teams take is, you know, someone just hitting instantly towards this A street, trying to win a big gunfight on anyone that might be back over here, playing safety, playing those spawns for this blue team and trying to flip that spawn right away so that you guys have control of these P5 spawns and that the other team is spawning, you know, back gas over here and they have a bad rotation to that P5 and have to play uh, the end of this P4. So, you know, if you don't want to break on in once that P5 pops, the best thing you do is just to have a really good rotation to it, win a big one-on-one -on, -one on this guy over here and then just flip it out during that P4. You're going to be seeing a lot of people try and take these A Street routes during P4, you know, maybe off of old, maybe even 40, 50 seconds uh, left on P4. They're going to be trying to take these type of routes to really take care of this safety type player who might be playing those spawns and hopefully just maintaining that anchor for their team going into that P5. So you're going to be trying to break this anchor and break those spawns instantly as soon as possible so that you guys can flip out. And let's say you're not on old, the same thing is gonna happen. You're gonna try and break on into this P4, still get a majority of time, but while you're trying to break on in, and hopefully you can try and do this pretty early into the hill if you don't have rotation to it, maybe you can just trust your three teammates to break on in, get some time while you take that route and try and break the spawns for your team. Take that route while you can trust them on old to try and get some time, make it a little bit mixy, because if you don't get a good chunk of time on this P4, it's just gonna be really, really hard if you don't have those P5 spawns. And that's that's where you see some really interesting lead changes where you can have a 100 point swing just in that p4 to p5 so once again if you're spawning back gas on this p3 make sure you're trying to get that p4 time make sure you get that early because you do want to make sure you have some time in the bank because in case you aren't able to flip out and it is going to be pretty hard to try and win that one-on-one -on -one because you know other teams are going to be playing for those type of routes you do want to have some time that you can take away from the enemy team and that's where that p4 comes in so try and get that p4 time if you're spawning back gas but make sure you're trying to take some type of route because breaking this hill is just super super difficult and let's say you're on this other team the one that's holding this p4 from this good side you know all you're trying to do is make this time white or even just make it mixy maybe get some points for yourself but the main thing you want to do is keep these spawns you're going to always want to have someone playing safety net or at least you know counting names so that you're making sure that no one on the enemy team is taking those routes and everyone is accounted for because the last thing you want is for some Someone on that enemy team to sneak around let's say they win a one-on-one -on -one or they don't even get seen and they just you know play in the back of this palace play in one of these deep corners and then as soon as this p5 pops they get a freebie on hill because you're not counting and you're not accounting for those players or the possibility that they could have snuck around so if you're trying to break on in best case scenario is having that good rotation sneaking around like that but making sure that you're not getting seen or if you are getting seen winning that big one-on-one -on -one gunfight and then literally just playing like a rat sneaking around in one of these deep corners trying to get a freebie once the hill pops and make it a really disruptive hill for that enemy team so that does it for this p5 hill i'm hoping that if anything the spawns get changed maybe move them a little bit back so the team that's breaking doesn't have to get you know two full waves to break on into the hill or if we do add a smoke and unga it it's a possibility that could get easy to break because you can actually you know cover this cross for your team as you're trying to break on in from one of these sides or you know if the hill just changes itself if they move it to a different location whether it's courtyard maybe or you know maybe towards this Lamar tank or something like that just to make it a little bit more breakable so you don't have to go into the depths of the palace so that does it for the invasion p5 i hope you guys enjoyed this analytical breakdown of what's going on in scrims and the meta for p5 right now on invasion thank you guys for watching hope you guys learned something new and i'll see you guys in the next one